creating a yes or no field, a true or false, a check mark or an X mark using a checkbox. In this example, I have a list of clients and their sales amount. Some of the clients are eligible to a VIP discount. I want to be able to check a box when the client is eligible and have the discount automatically applied to a total column. To help me visualize my VIP clients, I want the entire record to be highlighted if a discount is applied. So, in this project, we'll learn how to add the developer tab to the ribbon. Then, we'll create a checkbox for each record. We'll then link the checkbox to a cell. Then, we'll be creating a logical function to apply the discount if the client is eligible. We'll then hide the link cells and apply two conditional formatting rules. Let's build our project from ground up in Excel. So this is my finished project. In the left column, I have a client name. And then in the next column, I have a sales amount. I have an empty column in between. And in the top row of this empty column, I have a percentage of discount. It says right now 25% discount. So what I would like to be able to do is some of the clients are VIP clients. They are eligible to a special discount, the discount which appears in the top row of the second column. In this case, I would like to identify the client as a VIP client by checking a box. And when I check this box, many things should happen. Number one, the box will show a check mark. Number two, a 25% discount is automatically applied to the sales amount and in the next column, in the rightmost column, I can see the total amount, which is 25% less than the sales amount. At the same time, the entire record becomes highlighted to denote that this is a VIP client who received a 25% discount or whatever amount in the top row of the second column. Let's start our project from scratch. And here is the same list of clients. The second column is an empty column it only shows a 25% discount in the top row. And then in the third column, column C, I have a sales amount. So to start, I need to create a checkbox. And the checkbox is called the control. And to bring it to the worksheet, I need to bring the developer tab to the ribbon. To do that, we have so many ways of bringing the developer tab. If I right click on, a, on an empty area of the ribbon, and then select Customize the Ribbon. The Excel Options dialog box pops up, and from this dialog box, I'll check Developer, and then hit OK, and that brings the Developer tab to the ribbon. I could have done that through the File tab. I showed you how to do that in another tutorial. Now we need to bring a checkbox, and to bring a checkbox, I click on the down arrow of the Insert command in the Control group of the Developer tab, and select a checkbox. When I select a checkbox, the mouse pointer changes to a small plus sign. So what I need to do is to click and drag to create my first checkbox. The checkbox appears, but the word check also appears to the right side of the checkbox. I want to get rid of that text. I don't really need that label. After removing that label, I'm going to check the functionality of the checkbox and it's responding I could click to check I could click one more time to uncheck but I would like to link it to a cell and to do this I press the control key and select the checkbox when I see the sizing handles all around on the developer tab I click on properties and in the properties I can make the default either unchecked or checked but what I would like to do is to link it to a cell. So I put my blinking cursor in cell link box and then click on the cell in column B. And then I hit OK. My next step will be copying this checkbox for each individual client. And to do that, the easiest way, instead of recreating the checkbox, with the first checkbox selected, I press Control and then click and drag while pressing Shift and Control to ensure that it's perfectly aligned. I will have to select the two controls simultaneously and then press Control and then drag one more time to copy the two of them and then press Control to select the four of them and then release 
press Ctrl and Shift and drag to copy the four of them and then it looks like I need few more so I'll be repeating the same process here I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten clients I have three six eight so I need two more controls so I press control and select the checkbox press control and select the checkbox and then release press control and shift to drag the pressing the shift key ensure that you are dragging vertically the alignment is perfectly adjusted and now my next step will be adjusting uh, all these controls and linking them to the corresponding cells I'll start with the second one the first one is already linked to the first cell so I need to click on the second one while pressing control and then click on the properties and then this one should be linked to the second cell and I hit OK deselect click on the third one and I want to link it to another cell so I click on properties this one should be linked to the third cell which is B5 and then I hit OK I keep repeating the same exact thing for your information although I link three cells but I don't see the text it looks like the color of the text for these cells is set to white I need to set it to black and now I can see the contents now when I hover over this cell I need to repeat the same exact thing for each one of the checkboxes let me make sure that this one is checked as well on the developer tab click on properties and this one is linked to B4 that's fine I hit OK and then I keep doing this for each one of the controls press control and select click on properties and I link it to the corresponding cell and then hit OK I keep repeating the same exact thing for each one of these controls now that I linked each one of the text boxes to the corresponding cell I need to cover these cells but before I cover them I want to show you the contents of these cells so if I expand a little bit column B now you will see that whenever I have a checked box the value in column B is a true but if I uncheck this box the value changes in column B to become a false so checked means true unchecked means false I don't need to see the contents anymore so I'm going to hide them by selecting them and they'll convert the color into white I go to the home tab and click on the drop list for the font color and select a white color now I can reduce the width of this column I don't need it that white and what I'm going to do is to position all the text boxes on top of the cells in column B to select them I press the control key and click on each one of these check boxes to select all of them and once I select all of them I'm still pressing the control key I can move all of them on top of the cells in column B the final thing I would like to do is to select the last control while pressing the control key I'm selecting the last checkbox and I adjust it in the proper position I could also use the arrows on my keyboard so the first one is perfectly adjusted the last one is also perfectly adjusted when you have two controls perfectly adjusted the top one and the last one you can then adjust the vertical spacing by selecting all of them while pressing the control key one more time because you want to deactivate the functionality while you select and then if I go to the format tab of the ribbon go to the alignment command and on the alignment drop list I'll be selecting distribute vertically and that will show me that uh, the checkbox in the middle of each cell just corresponding to the client names I finished this part of my project and now I would like to create my total column to create my function in column D it's a conditional function that looks at the same row in column B which is by the way connected to the checkbox so if the value in the cell in column B is a true I would like to apply the 25% discount or whatever amount I have in B2 so let's create this function I select the entire range after selecting the entire range from the perspective of this active cell I'll type equal if and then I hit the tab key if the value in cell B3 
So if I click on cell B3 and type an equal sign and say if it is equal to true, then what would you like to do? I type a comma. In this case, I would like to multiply the sales amount multiplied by whatever amount comes from cell B2, which is the percentage of discount. And because I'm copying my formula down, I need to lock B2 so that it doesn't change as I go down. If the cell is not equal to true, that means false. That means the client is not eligible to a discount. So in this case, I just want to copy the sales amount. So I select the sales amount and close the bracket for the if function. To populate my function, I hit Control Enter. And now look at that. That's beautiful. If I take the check away, I get the same amount. If I check the box, now the discount is applied. I need to visualize my findings, so I need to highlight the entire record whenever the client is eligible to a discount. And to do that, I'll be creating a conditional formatting rule. In fact, I'll need to create two conditional formatting rules. The reason for that will be clear when I create the first rule. So for my first rule, I'll be selecting all the records, I'm selecting all the clients, I'm selecting the four columns and I go to conditional formatting and say I want to create a new rule by using a formula. When I click on use formula, in this cell I say if the value in cell B3, I click on cell B3 and this one should be locked to the column because the rule will, be, will travel in memory for each one of these cells in the selected range. So I want to lock the column so when the rule travels right and left, I'm always evaluating B3. But the row is not locked, so when, when the rule is copied up and down, the row number changes to B4, B5, and so on. So if B3 is equal to true, which means the client is eligible to a discount. What would you like to do? I click on Format, and I would like to create a fill color. I would like to highlight the entire record. So when I click on More Colors, to select more colors, let's say I'll be selecting this light purple color. And then I hit OK. And another OK, and a third OK. So whenever the client is eligible to a discount, the entire record is highlighted. Note what happened right now. Because my text in column B was in white color, it didn't appear when the, when the cell color was white or had no color. But once I applied the conditional formatting, I could see this text, the trues and false, or in fact, I'm reading the trues only. So I would like to create another conditional formatting rule that changes the color of the text whenever the client is eligible. And this second conditional formatting rule will be only in column B. So let's create our second conditional formatting rule by selecting the values in column B, click on conditional formatting new rule, and I want to say I want to create a formula. So in this one, I'll say if the value in cell B3, and in this case, I'm going to change it to a relative cell reference by hitting the F4 key three times. If it is equal to true, if it's equal to true, then what would you like to do? I want to change the font color. So I click on Format and then click on Font and I want to change the font color. In this case I'll be selecting more colors and from here I'll select the same exact color to match the background so I'm actually hiding it from the view. It is still there in the cell but I don't want to see it and now look at that. That looks nice. Let's test the functionality of our project. So if I take the check away from all time spices now the entire record is not highlighted. The 25% discount on sales is not applied. If I uncheck another client, the same exact functionality. If I check a text box so that the client is eligible to the discount, checking this box, the discount is applied, the entire record is highlighted. If you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in our next training video.